Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of It's Jenkins. This episode of It's Jenkins is brought to you by LRM MOQS. LRM MOQS, more bang for your buck. Alright, so, um, after the last episode, we hey, got a few things sorted here. So, I got the primary lance now with the, our main max. We're waiting for the, the uh, second commando to come back um, after being built for the second lance, which will take... Well, I guess these guys are technically a primary lance. I should probably put them up to the top here. Um, but we got this lance ready to go today, and rather than waiting the uh, extra five days for the uh, Quick Cell Commander to be back, we're going to run this lance. There's a mission I want to take before the end of the month. Always good to I'm interested see to see how well we do. So there's a, there's a Three Skull mission here, which is a straight-up battle against uh, Marians, who've been rampaging across the territory. So we're just going to go ahead and take this mission today and see what we can get out of this. We're going to run full salvage, of course. Our monetary situation is actually pretty good right now. We've got their financial report, and we're only halfway through the month, so that's good. So let's pull out these guys and we'll replace it with our primary lance, which was going to be Stormcrow, the Centurion, the Stealth and the Talos, and then we've got the Cloudbuster, and I think we're running the Hetzer. So then we're going to be running with uh, Nuke is going in the Centurion, Road Rash is still in the Stealth. Vengeance in the Stormcrow. Then we're going to put Vision in the Talos. And then we got Scooter. Who was Scooter was running what? Oh, yeah. He's not a mech pilot. I'm oh, sorry. He's not a vehicle pilot. So you're running the Cloudbuster. And it was Junker running the... No. Who was running the... Oh, Mongoose. Right. Yeah. Right? The Hetzer? Yeah. Perfect. Excellent. All right. Let's go do this. Yeah, I don't know. We'll I think we'll think we'll be all right. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. Looks like it might just be the one lance. I see a lot of green out of my cockpit. So do I. Of course, I'm not looking out of your cockpit. I'm looking out of my cockpit. All right, this was the. Yeah, this one you normally start back here, I think. So this is an interesting battlefield. We've got a big crevice in the center. Oh, I see. Okay, it's this map. Right, but we're just starting at this end. Right. Oh man, there's so... Like, normally I think you would fight the battle from here, and if they got reinforcements, they would come from here. Why do I think they might get reinforcements partway through this battle? And if I start here, they're going to come behind me. Uh, oh, man. Okay, well, we need to get a position where the vehicles can get moving. Let's get down behind this crest here and start there. Because if they do get support, I want to make sure we're in a position that we can uh, at least be shielded from them to start. All right, I'm interested to see what they've got, though. Let me go, are ya? Orders. Uh, what do you think? Let's try and find out what they have. Now, normally on this map, they're back here. And I think one of them starts over here. So let's pull in and like kind of get to here. This is a ridge, so we should be fine there. Roger that. There's one, there's two, three, four. And what are we up against here? Ooh, a bushwhacker pirate. Turbo Hunchback Deluxe. What the hell is that? Wolfman Rifleman. Now, is this compatible with the other Wolfman? Oh my god, it's the one. It's the same one. Oh, okay, that's got to die real fast. Uh, hey, Quick Cell Valkyrie with a pair of LRM20 Quick Cells. Turbo Deluxe. So, let me guess, he's got a mask or something? Or, he's got no armor. So maybe it's just a bigger engine? Oh, Christ. <laughs> okay, someone's someone's going to take some punishment. Oh, man. Okay, well. This will be an interesting fight. 
We need to stay away from them and stay at a direct line of sight. Yeah, that hunchback's got some speed, but no armor, so... Waiting for orders. Alright, let's... We got range. Let's use it. Aye, aye. Let's use the range we've got on some of these mechs here. See if we can put some punishment down early. 18% with a Thunderbolt. Eh? Now, we're going to take this shot here, see if we can get something on this guy. Uh, I'm going to put the mines down over there, though, too. Let's just, let's get rid of them out of the uh, the tray here early. I mean, mo I mean, a I bunch of them will probably be coming it. that way. So I might as well get a little additional damage. That Wolfman's probably going to take a shot from that range at me. Ooh, Cloudbuster, eh? Okay. All right, Goose, yes. we got to get in there. Bring you up here. Get you into here. All right. I think we might take off down this road and come up around this way. We'll see, though. Depends on where this Wolfman goes. We're only going to get really one good shot at that guy. Yeah, here it comes. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Yeah. Yeah. They've got the uh, indirect capability that we don't have at the moment. Or the direct capability, I mean. Let's get over to here. Now I'm going to hold off using my EMP and incendiaries until a little later because I want to make sure we had the best chance to hit on these guys. Uh, you got 10. Wow. Alright, let's try to drop some damage on this guy. It's fine. Four points, huh? Well, I guess it's better than nothing. I'm receiving you. No, let's get to where we can get some speed. Get over here. Spread out a little bit. To be honest, though, I really hope that Bushwhacker shoots his load at the uh, Cloudbuster. Oh, man. Okay. You. Get into here. Copy that. The one, the, the one benefit we do have is the. Uh, we're gonna, who are we gonna go after here? Let's drop. Mm, okay, we can't waste ammo. Do we do that? I'm gonna do this. Try and get some damage in on this guy. And then... Wow, well, the sensor's really spread, eh? I mean, I guess in a way that's kind of a good thing. Because now, wherever they move, they'll get some sensors on them. I mean, we already know what they have, so it's not really helping that much, but... Let's see what they do here. That bushwhacker still got to move. Hopefully he moves to the right. I want him to come into this way here. Oh, it's the turbo hunchback going. Holy shit! That's accurate. Losing lots of armor. I saw that. Where did he go? Oh, he's. Are you kidding me? Wait, why is he going again? Oh, the turn ended, the bushwhacker didn't move? Damn it. Oh, that really hurt. Yeah, I saw it. Reporting critical hit. Yeah, I saw it. What's up, boss?
Oh, you guys got good positioning. I want to try and pull this uh, hunchback down fast, but I don't know if there's a possibility to do that. So let's do... this location confirmed let's get some chaff on him Copy that. of course damn it oh man okay we can get rid of this hunchback I gotta draw him into a fight away from the rest of his unit here comes this guy Wow, man, they're so accurate. Yep. My heat sinks can't vent fast enough. I'm taking damage. I don't have the ability to, uh... Let's go to here. He's probably used most of his rockets already. So we're going to move up. I got to keep going. I'm generating a lot of heat There's coming. nothing I can do about it. Shut, Shut the hell up. Down. My heat gauge is pegged. We got problems with a capital P. Wow. All right, let's start by doing this. Let's move. Can't mess around anymore. I mean, not like we're messing around in the first place, but we definitely can't be messing around now. Uh, let's do this. He's not even hot, that guy. Standing by. Pilot is bleeding out. Eight activations remaining. Let's get to here. Oh, man. We are not in a good place. All right, let's fire all this stuff at this guy. All right, we did land something. Good to go. What do you think, brah? Mm. We gotta make something happen, let's do it. Gotta make something happen. Hopefully we don't miss this shot, or this will all be for nothing. 63, 43, 85, arm, 50, 60. This guy's... thing is, this guy's too close. This will give us some breathing room if we can at least do some heavy damage to this guy. So let's take the better chance to hit. There you go. See ya. Pilot- oh my god, did we hit his head? Did we just take his head clean off? I think we did. Yes, Commander. I think we just took his head clean off. That changes things for us now. Alright, let's get into here. Double time. Let's go. Man, finally some good luck in this battle. All right, on this guy. Full machine guns, full everything. Hit him. Fire an owl weapon. Nice. We got to get that Centurion back. He's got the EMP. 
Yeah, shit. I thought I knew that was coming. At least they're using scatter on them. Yes, Commander. All right, we can't really expose to that Wolfman. Um, let's move here. Confirmed. I want to be able to have at least a flanking position on him. Let's get some more chaff if we can. Nothing. Damn. Negative damage. Well, I mean, if anything, we can hopefully have enough parts to put one of those guys together. Did we get? I don't know if we got the parts from the last mission. I think we picked up two, though. If I if I remember correctly, yeah. You better back up. There's all those rockets. Ah. Uh, Hold on. Yes. That was a big hit. It big was. Hit. You got the Wolfman still to go though. <laughs> Hold on, buddy. I really hope that Wolfman doesn't fire at him. He's gonna though. Nope. Lost a mech. Yeah, that was a head hit. <sighs> Good to go. Fucking nothing I could do about that. Nothing I could do about that one. Roger. All right. Um, this guy is definitely peeing me off here. Go hydro with that. Quick sell with the rest. He's Hang taking on. some leg damage, at least that's a good thing. Standing in flames, a little bit of heat, okay. Yes, command. Problem with this though is this guy is like battle mech down. What? Killed by heat. Waiting for orders. Shit, and I gotta drop my recoil. Roger. Wow, this is real bad. Drop the recoil. Alright. We don't, I don't know, I don't forget the firepower now for this. Once the Wolfman's down, I think things will be a lot better. This guy still has a lot of missiles, though. Nah, but we can't miss. Failed to connect. How would I have played this differently? That would have made a difference, I don't know. I don't know what I would have done. Green outside of range or light green, uh, not quite in range. Do we just go all in? I mean, that could be a kill on that guy. Oh, it's such a hard decision. I have to avoid any additional damage at all cost. Um... Let's go all in. If we're going to do it, we're going to do it. Oh, I wasn't expecting this to be this this bad here. At least it is only one lance. All right, let's get a full shot, please. Yes. He lost the whole side. Or did he? No, he just lost it. Oh, he almost lost his whole side. Lost his arm, though. Yeah, we had to go for it. Critical hit. All right, maybe we can open this up a bit here now.
He's going to finish him off, though. Here comes the rockets. That was a little overkill. God damn, I'm getting shredded. Oh, he took a lot of mine damage, though, that guy. His missiles are gone. Okay. He's got one set of missiles left. I'm receiving you. Let's make him sweat. Let's get into here. We're not going to shoot this turn. We're going to get into a position where we can strike them, though. Yeah, I think if we didn't move in, like if we didn't push this, they would have just shredded us at range. There wouldn't have been a damn thing we could do about it. Like, honestly, we wouldn't have been able to do a damn thing. They would have just killed us. So, I had no choice to push. Ah, oh, hopefully that pilot's not dead, though. I copy. Alright. Not bad. Receiving you. Get around here. This guy hopefully ends up being our uh, Hail Mary here. Um, yep, same. Affirmative. The more heat we apply to that guy, the better. Well, I haven't been pasted this bad since, like, the beginning of the last series. Where our whole lance went down. It might still happen in this one, too, so I have to be very, very careful here, but, uh... Standing by. Let's see if we can get ahead of that guy. Uh, that'll pick us up some heat. That won't. This should call the bushwhacker to me. So let's do this. Roger. It's going to call the bushwhacker to the stealth. And hopefully I can get behind him with the cloud buster. Let's see if we can take the other arm off this guy. Alright, good damage, but not quite enough. Cloudbuster's in striking range. We might be able to get a back shot. I don't think we can get a back shot in that guy. Well, no, we can't. Yeah, it'll call him over here. Yeah, he hasn't got much left. But he can yeah. still do damage. Okay. Orders. Just gonna walk it. I wanna drop my instability. I think we've got the upper hand now. Uh, we're still gonna go Hydra. I think it's gonna impede them more than it'll help them. So let's go this route. Firing. Walking on target. Nice. Systems holding. Yeah, we're gonna. I knew we were gonna take some hits, but I'm okay with that. I'm more worried about getting the heat on those guys. Surprise, motherfucker! Completing the pincer move. Um, how's his back armor? Pretty good. Let's see if we can strip some of it away here. Oh, those look like two leg hits. Yep, two leg hits. And a smattering across the back. All right. How aggressive do I want to be? The answer is none. None too aggressive. Let's move back this way. See if we can bring that guy around the corner into the rockets of the uh, Talos. Okay, let's go after this guy. SRMs again, firing. Target's taking a critical hit. Not bailing. They got pretty good pilots, so they're not going to bail. 
and that's fine. Who are you going after? Okay. Damage is light. Who's up now? The Wolfman? Yeah. Well, I'm taking heavy hits, yeah. Ready for orders. Time to strip that motherfucker's arm. Hey, you want to know what's up? That's what's up. I'm gonna. Uh, we're gonna hit our own guys if I use these. So let's just leave these off and go straight with this. Hopefully, the double AC five hits. Firing. Boom! How does 50 bullets in your ass make your day? Waiting for orders. All right, buddy. Let's get on this guy. Straight up his ass. We got some repair work to do after this one. That's for sure. Here we go. Oh, see ya. What do you think, kiddo? Finish that guy off? Hopefully we didn't lose too much in, in the way of uh, manpower on this one. There you go. Oh my god, we survived that. Target eliminated. Oh. Mission successful. Was it? Well, I don't know how much damage we took there. We made 666. Well, isn't that surprising? Um... <laughs> That's all going to go to repairs. Oh, it's so brutal. So, Vengeance is out. Nuke is out. They're not dead, though. 70 days. Oh, Nuke got killed. He died from overheat. Fuck, what a way to go, burning up in your mech. And we lost the Hetzer pilot. Hopefully we didn't lose the Hetzer. I think I got another piece, though, so we should be okay. But as long as it's, we get two pieces back. Fuck me. That was brutal. Oh, man. What a loss. Well, not really. I mean, we won, but still, it was kind of a huge loss. Now, yeah, we don't have any Wolfman parts. I thought we did. I think we, you know what? I think we decided against taking them. That was what it was. We took the, uh, we took the AC instead. Why do I get the feeling we lost one of our Max 2 permanently? Well, let's take that for C-Bills and then probably... I don't know. I mean the... <sighs> Stormcrow and... So both of them got knocked out due to pilots being knocked out. So... Oh, I'm tempted to take that double heatsink kit because we don't have any. And maybe the two Wolfman parts. Or we could go with the three Whacker parts. I mean, this is still a pretty good damn, pretty damn good mech. The Valkyrie I'm not worried about because we, I mean, we've already got a Valkyrie, so we're good there. But maybe we do just take the Bushwhacker. What am I going to replace with this, though? Maybe I shouldn't be thinking replace. Maybe I should be thinking adding more mechs to the lance. Going with a higher number of mechs. Wow, well, we just don't have the... Uh, don't have the ability to do that just yet because it's going to jack our, our fee up. I got to get my third mech bay up and running. Maybe I should just be looking for all C-bills on this one. What do we desperately need? Because I'm not sure... Ooh. 
You know what? Let's just grab the bushwhacker and see what we... We'll assemble it and see what we can get off it. Although this hunchback is very interesting. Yeah, uh, 350 XL. That was what got it killed, though. The 350 XL. I mean, it's fast. It landed one shot and then died, but still... That's a scary mech. That's like a, a 350, that's a 711 movement with an AC-20. It's got no armor, but still, if you want to get into position quickly, that's the way to do it. Alright, I think we go this route. Roll the dice, see what we get. The Hetzer's gone, and we only got one part back. Fuck. We got two of the turbo hunchback pieces, which is good because we have turbo or hunchbacks that we can put together with this one. We got a Wolfman part, okay. Some rockets, LRM-20 quick sell, Thunderbolt 10, not bad. Small cockpit, I'm probably never going to use that, so I'm just going to sell it. We need money. I'll keep the actuator though. Good for mechs without any arm weapons. Uh, compact life support. We'll hold on to that, I think. The XL's got to go for C-Bills. Artemis 2. Missile accuracy. We'll hold on to that. Double XL gyro. Okay, that's not bad. That can go. LK ammo. Nice. We'll keep that. Alright, well, that was a pretty shitty roll, I guess, other than mech parts. But, uh, alright, not bad. Yeah, I know. Oh, well, at least the repairs aren't too, too bad. Except for the fact that we lost two pilots and a vehicle. Ah, oh, crap. I, I can't remember the last time I lost more than one pilot in a mission. I think it was, um... Ooh, it was, I think, the Battle of, um... Crap, can't remember the name of the, the world. It was a lunar world, and I had four mechs and two vehicles, and I lost both vehicle pilots and two mech pilots due to the vacuum. And I lost a couple vehicles. Yeah, it was brutal. That was a really brutal mission. This one, it was only brutal. Like, ah, man, if we hadn't taken the head hits in the um, Stormcrow and the Centurion hadn't got overheated on that first turn, that match would have been far more weighted in our favor. Like the Centurion moving in, I would have gone behind that cliff face, used EMP on the Wolfman, to basically shut down its ability to do anything. Like it would have probably got one more turn of firing and then I would have EMP'd it and then Inferno'd it and kept it burnt up. The Bushwhacker still had that heavy rocket punch, but then as soon as we pulled that Wolfman down, I would switch the EMP and Incendiary to the Bushwhacker. The Hunchback I was intending to kill fast like we did in this one. So, I mean, I don't know if we would have got lucky as quickly as we did with that. But that Hetzer almost got two kills back to back. Oh, that was so brutal. Okay, I can't bring the Bushwhacker forward just yet until we get these guys. Well, we got some coin. Oh, do I want to see what it's got on it? I kind of do and I kind of don't. We could bring this guy forward. And see if we can get the XL on the core of it, we can sell. Because, I mean, other than that, it's just hard points, right? And this one's like 11, 11 laser hard points. You could drop a 350 core in this guy and have it be real fast. And then the FB was the... Um, what did this one have again? Oh, the Goss Rifle, right. So I would use one of the 5L pieces on this guy. We want to try it? Actually, first, let's go see if we have enough to put a Hetzer together. We don't. Yeah, we don't. That's the double 20. That's the two LRM-15s. Is this compatible? I don't think it's compatible. No, it's not. All right, well, we got to find ourselves some, another quick sell vehicle. I mean, there is some other stuff we can put together down here. Let's see what the... Um, Well, I want to have this sitting in storage, though. Look at this thing, man. Eight missiles, two laser, three ballistic. Base tech 20. 
Limb repair 32%, item recovered 49%, item repair 24%. Mm. You know what, let's hold off. I'm not ready to put it together anyway. I mean, it could, would make an, I mean, we could put the avatar and this guy together, but this guy's not Omni, so the avatar is quicker to put back together. Let's just leave it for now. I, I, I'm going to start sinking my money into stuff that I can't afford at the moment. So we'll just leave it. Uh, we got more missions to go. It looks like these guys are going to be out for a while. Uh, let's bring this commando up to the top. Talos and the stealth can come back quickly in five days. Stormcrow and the Centurion shortly after that. We're going to need new pilots. So I th probably what I'll do is I'll take an... Once the commando's back in five days, which I'll do so we can have another mission, what I'll end up doing is jumping system. Because we're I mean, there's no pilots here for me to get, right? I should, probably should check the store. I never did check it this month. Case and a lamb turbine. So nothing really there. Yeah, I'll wait the five days, get the commando back. I think there's a mission here I want to take. Hey, Commander. Pull up a chair. Yeah, there's a one skull we can take here. Uh, pirates. One, one skull against pirates. That, we should, that should be okay. We'll take that one and see how it goes. And then we'll jump systems and then see where we go from there. I don't know what level. Maybe we, I mean, this is a two skull planet. Which gives us between one and three skulls. That's probably the best bet. We'll, we'll stick to two skulls for now. And see what we can get out of that. But anyway, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And please go check out the Quick Sell site. And until next time, we'll see you later.